How's it going guys? This is Ryo Murata, photographer based in Tokyo. So this is going to be sort of like a second version, second part of Marumi's filters, soft focus, fil soft filters in achieving film-like looks. Similar to the previous video, which I basically talked about the Alps Punch. This filter this time is called Natsuhiro Punch compared to Alps Punch, which uses two soft filters and combining them, slamming them together like a sandwich. Natsuhiro Punch actually uses two soft filters. In addition to that, they add a tinted glass sandwich together to get all those goodies. And this filter in particular emphasizes on the blue tones. So it uses sort of like a blue tinted glass to make the overall image and renderings softer and much more bluer. So in the previous video, in the Alps Punch video, I talked that it has sort of like a cyan green and orangish tint, sort of like a nostalgic like filter type of image. However, this filter is the Natsuhiro Punch, which I am going to be talking about, has the soft focus effect, but it has much more emphasis on the blue and cyans. And FYI, Natsuhiro basically means the summer colors in Japanese. And for your information, I, as always, I shot around my neighborhood and walked around random locations to see how this would perform. And as always, I basically shot with the Fujifilm's 23mm f2 lens, which is a really sharp lens, straight out of the camera, JPEG, uh, under the Provia settings. After I finished shooting, I basically looked at the image on large screen and I realized that the blues and cyans were more emphasized than I anticipated. And similar to the what I call the video I made a long time ago from Kenko Tokina, they did a similar like filter where they made a filter to achieve that, you know, film like look. They had a nostalgia tone blue and orange. This filter in particular is similar to the nostalgia tone blue. However, this one in particular from Marumi is really way out in the seans and obviously some people might love it. Some people might hate it. I'm was well, skeptical actually when I first initially looked at the photos to the Alps Punch video that I made a video on in the last week or so. Same for this filters. If you underexpose, the image will look really muddy. However, if you sort of like overexpose, the what I call the effects of the filter will start to not to not disappear, but it will remain. However, not to the extent where it's like super cyan and blue. However, if you expose perfectly, the image as a whole will look really in the cyan and blue tint is really obvious. And this sort of like goes into your personal preference if you really like blue-ish type of photos. I mean, if you're into those types of video of photos, I mean, this is a great filter. But for me, when you compare this filter with the Alps Punch that I made a video on, I will actually prefer the Alps Punch because it has sort of like the it has sort of like this warmer tone, and it's same for like photography. There's the warmer tones which Kodak is famous for, and the quarter tones which Fujifilm is famous for. There's actually no right or wrong answer to that. I typically like the warmer tones, and I don't know. It might be because it might be because I'm an isolated guy and I don't like being in the blue zone most of the time. But I enjoy shooting with Fuji film. But it's not too extreme in the you know the quarter side of the color spectrum. So this is more like the per personal preference kind of thing. And I'm going a little bit off topic, but yeah, uh, keep note that you guys probably know Marumi is a company that. Is dedicated towards making filters they have and most of their filters are for work purposes their ND filters are really good their PL, CPL polarizer filters are widely used among professionals and they have like so many like special effects filters such as macro uh, starscape astro type of photography type of filters and stuff like that and they have like so many actually and this is I guess they're sort of like I don't know trying something new i guess in the field of like photography because there has been this sort of trend going on where manufacturers are trying to like make filters that sort of imitate that sort of like film like look and i guess this is sort of their like offerings for not the masses but for a specific part in the photography community because there weren't these types of like products in the past so 
and I guess they were sort of trying to get into bandwagon, a bandwagon of trying to like provide some kind of solution for people who wanted to achieve that look. And I guess two of their products that they release have had a sort of like an impact, especially in the Japanese community. So, so yeah, it was a really great experience like shooting with this filter. Will I be shooting with this filter all day long? I'm a little bit skeptical because after I finished like shooting with these two filters, my eyes seem to get bugged or something like that because everything is like not in focus. And this is something I realized after shooting with the second filter, the Natsuto Punch, is that I guess the closer the subject, it's easier to get in focus, but the more like infinity type of photo, so if the subject is really far away, like everything looks out of focus in my eyes. And I don't know if this is like what they were going after or I don't know how, how they managed to keep up with their optics or how they sort of like constructed this lens to, not lens, but this filter to perform. But it's like something I realized and obviously this is not gonna be like meant for work purposes because it's not like sharp at all. But for me who sort of like shoots lenses at my workplace where everything has to be in focus, has to be, you know, you know, perfectly like sharp. This is sort of like one of those moments where I could take a day off and just have fun just in the world of photography and basically can casually shoot whatever I want. And because digital exists nowadays, we can basically shoot as many photos as we would like. And I don't know, we can test trial and error and fail, succeed. And the more we do it, we'll probably get better as being a photographer. So I keep going off topic, but it was a really great experience like shooting with this like filters and yeah. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you have any questions, I'm happy to reply. And I actually, one of my followers, one of my viewers actually said that if they sold this filter internationally and I basically contacted them and they said that they don't, like Marumi themselves officially stated that they don't have an official website to sell products online. And I said to myself, what the heck? You're losing business, like valuable business opportunities. I mean, I mean, there's like, I'm going super off topic, but there's like so many great products being sold locally in Japan and Tokyo, especially. And just like, like I said, there's like various manufacturers photography manufacturers in Japan that make really nice products, but they're not being sold internationally. So, and although I make a YouTube video more like for as a hobby, actually, I, I was looking at myself in a mirror saying that this might be a great business opportunity. Maybe if I have the time and effort and you guys know me, I procrastinate so much. So maybe if I have the time, if I don't procrastinate, I might try making a sort of like a website where I will try to sell products that's not being like sold internationally unless if it's not on eBay or something like that so like those products or so so hopefully that maybe someone who's like interested because I sometimes do reviews I sometimes do like videos on like products that I'd like to use specifically and as a photographer actually so might be Right to doing that as a sort of like a side project or something when I if I have time so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions or any kind of inquiries I'm kind of like surprised to hear that this filter is not being sold on the international market so ah I get more jobs <laughs> more things to do oh no so yeah we'll see you next time peace out